emergency press conference. From now on, I already said this, Hank, I, we're going to have fire drills because when I get fired up, I want to get to the microphone, I want to get to the podium now. Not in like five minutes with you running around like a jackass. We got 30 cameras, figure it out. If you got to hold the camera, fine. If you got to get another tripod, fine. But we're doing fire drills. When I say press conference, 15 seconds max, I should be live and going for the future. Now, this is an emergency because I am, I got enough shit on my plate with everyone coming at the Pats. But right now, what's happening is Boston.com and Nesson are ste not they're not only stealing my stories and steal it's the internet do whatever i can live with it they're now using my words to write their stories and then they're crediting each other for finding the fucking stories it's bananas this michael wilbon i go home yesterday michael wilbon he's ranting about the pats pti i watch a show i fucking dvr it every day and he said if they find out in the next like 72 hours or something if the patriots um were guilty of deflating the balls they should be forfeit the super bowl i vine it in the name of my vine it is something to the effect of this may not be the hottest take today or, or this month, this week, the hottest take of all time. I did that. I put this on the internet. No one's talking about it. It's not even an issue if I don't vine this, blog it. Today, Boston.com and Nesson are fucking tapping each other on the ass, crediting each other like credit to Boston.com, credit to fucking Nesson. The first sentence in the Nesson article is, in terms of hot takes, this may be the hot, it's the name of my fucking vine. You can't credit each other for stories that wouldn't exist on the internet if it wasn't for me. These two websites should have my fucking face in their header because that's all they're doing right now. They're taking my stories. You too, Ravel. The party bus story. The party bus story of the Gronks. You know how I fucking knew that party bus got denied? Because we had people on the bus who texted me. I blogged it instantly. And then Boston.com and Nesson blog it like six hours later, crediting each other. It's madness. It's madness.